Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. I'm Mark. I'm Mariana, nice to meet you all. Well, I know we're not meeting face to face, but hi all. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about Mariana's journey into the tech industry, specifically as a program manager at Microsoft. So could you introduce yourself? What school do you go to? Mm -hmm. What um, internships have you done? And how did we meet? So I am from the University of Texas at El Paso. I live in Mexico, but I study in the US, so I cross the border every day. Actually, we met in our interviews. Yeah. <laughs> and we were interviewed by the same four people. So both of us made it, which both is awesome. Both of us made it, yeah. <laughs> Supposedly, they only choose like two out of those four, so like you're More seeing the, two, the, yeah. <laughs> the people that got chosen. <laughs> When I found out that Microsoft was like in campus and all of that, I was super interested in just going and talking with them, right? And the first time I ever interacted with them, I was a sophomore. So I was still really un like unexperienced. I didn't know a lot about who I was, mm -hmm. what I stood up for, what I was good at, right? So I went with them and I actually interviewed with them for the first time. So. As a background, like to like know a little bit more, I had two interviews with Microsoft, one in like 2016 and one in 2017. 2016 wasn't a good year, if, you, <laughs> if I could say so, right? 17. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't work out in 2016. It didn't work out in 2016. <laughs> but 2017 said, yes, you're coming here. Yeah, you, you bounced back. <laughs> yeah, I bounced back. So. Just like, uh, just so that all of you like feel related, I, like for, for people who have gone through this process and have not gotten it, it's okay. A lot of interns actually have interviewed a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I think that the best advice I can give you is know what you're good at and interview for what you're good at. I didn't interview for what, like in what I was good at because I was a sophomore. I had no idea mm -hmm. all these positions existed. I had no idea that you should interview for what you're good at and not just like interview. Yeah. So that first time you're saying that you interviewed for a role that wasn't necessarily wasn't. aligned with your strength. I forgot to mention, I'm, in, I'm studying electrical engineering and I interviewed for a role that was software. You know, wow. it was for Explore. So okay. you were either going to be programming or you were going to be a program manager, mm -hmm. which which is a like a, a rotation program. Oh, so yeah. I interviewed for that role. I didn't get it. I think I was really devastated. But like a year later, like I grew so much in a year that I realized to, like why I had not gotten it. And mm -hmm. maybe if I would have gotten into like Microsoft that first year, I would have not gotten a return offer, right? Yeah, that's interesting. I really do think I would have not gotten a return offer because that was going to be my first internship ever so yeah that's everything crazy. does happen for a reason so that summer i guess when you didn't get that internship what did you do to keep yourself busy and so i had another internship with cummins which is in the automotive engine industry which is okay. so different from tech and that internship helped me like learn so much you know like it helped me learn what are you supposed to do in an internship how are you supposed to act i feel like a lot of people put focus on hey like get an internship but actually being in, in an internship is a lot of work too. Like to actually get an offer back requires a lot of things. There's a lot yeah. of things that you have to do building yourself. And, yeah, and, and it's more than just the technical, right? Yes, So for even sure, like you were sure. in this internship and you still have to do all those like people type of relationship yes, things as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Which is so, something you're really good at. <laughs> thank you. And Andrew too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I met Mariana at our interview day in 2017. We both got the <laughs> internships we were both program manager interns in the hardware division at microsoft last summer and we both got return offers so could you touch on that process of how did you get a return offer and make sure that you were staying on track in this um, at least for me it feels like a really big company where there's a lot of it's so people. easy to like get lost I yeah think. so how did you make sure that you were staying on track and eventually get that return offer and mm -hmm you're back here this summer today yes. so so in microsoft we have a lot of events like a lot we, we have like four <laughs> events a week for interns like we have so so many no events. joke <laughs> like it's it's just a lot and something that i learned is you have to know how to manage your time know when it's time to like okay i have time to go to the event or know when it's time to work i was actually working with two projects which was a heavy load like i I don't think I had a day where I had like nothing to do. Mm -hmm. I was always doing something. And something that's really important is how you get along with your team too. Like go go talk to your team, 
because they are the ones who are evaluating you, right? Like your manager and your whole team is evaluating you. So even if you like network outside your team, they don't have really much of a say if you like get a return offer or yeah, not. For that specific team. For yeah. that specific team. So I think that what I did was I created a really good relationship with my team and I also focused on delivering what was useful for them. So whatever mm -hmm. I did, I always asked them, hey, is this helping you? How can we make it help you better? Right? And I would always ask for feedback. Always, always. I think it's such an important thing. And it's actually one of our values at Microsoft, the growth mindset. Mm -hmm. And I would set up like one-on-ones with my manager, my buddy, and my mentor. So at Microsoft, we have your manager, which is like your boss. Then you have a mentor who kind of helps you out with your project and your buddy who's someone like related to like mm -hmm. your your age who can help you out yeah like, more on the not so much with your projects just, yes, just how is your you experience can, yes. yeah type of thing so i set up one-on-ones with them and they would give me feedback hey like do this and do that yeah. i think that that's the key to listen to the feedback they give you and be open mm -hmm. to um what is it called like uh, constructive criticism right yeah from your school, are there a lot of people that intern at Microsoft, or what is what was that experience like? Did you have role models, or did you have to be your own role model? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> well, actually, it's it's really really curious that you're asking me that. My university, it was the first time they were ever recruiting for hardware. Okay. So I think something we have to mention that's really important too is that there's this misconception that in Microsoft you have to like be in software or know how to program. I actually don't know how to like code a lot. Yeah, me neither. Like, I, I really don't. And this is why I'm saying like you have to interview in what you're good at because if you're interviewing something that's coding and you don't know how to code, you're not going to make it. Yeah. There's no way you're going to make it. And uh, so in hardware, they look for like materials engineer, engineering, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers. Um, industrial engineers, supply chain, program managers. program managers. There's so, so many things that go under hardware that people don't even know about. And when they went to our campus, like I just went with the hardware team and three of us were hired for the first time from our university. So wow. I was w one of the first three to get hired from our university, like of all time. And I, I just think it's so, 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 so cool. <laughs> So I, I faced a couple of struggles. I am an international student, so I'm not allowed to like work in, in like they always ask me, hey, are you a US citizen and all of that, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, like my dad like spoke to me once because I was really, really disappointed that I couldn't work in a lot of places. He told me, you know, like you are your own limit. Like you are the one who, who is gonna push for what you want and you're gonna be so good that it, that won't even matter. And I can honestly say, like, it, it doesn't matter, like, where you're from. There, like, you can do it. Like, you can actually set yourself a goal and do it because you are your own limit. I actually received offers from other companies that do not accept international students, you know? Like, wow. my, like those words of my dad, like, stay with me all the time that, like, you are your, you are your own limit. And if you put the effort into it, and something that I always tell people is, if you show passion and love for what you do, like nobody will ever stop you. Like there's no way somebody can put that fire, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you're just like an exploding bomb or something. <laughs> yeah. A good, a good, so I a think, good thing. I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that uh, like my parents definitely were a big uh, inspiration for me to just keep moving on whenever I got rejected because I did get rejected a lot of times, right? Yeah. So, yes. That's awesome. So great mm -hmm. advice. Thank you, Mariana. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed <laughs> her, her content <laughs> and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below. So yeah, thank you, Mariana. Yeah, thank you guys.